guys welcome back to my channel so i'm gonna be creating a look oh, what was that so guys welcome back to my channel i'm going to be so i start by drawing out my brow with my eye pencil my brows are so full so i don't even feel the inside i only draw the axe and then i feel the tail because my brows are full I need it to look as natural as possible. I brush it out with my toothbrush. It does me a better job. Pardon me for using a brush. Then after that, I'm, what I'm doing right here is I'm making the eyebrow to look more sharper. So I'm using the concealer to make it look more neat and sharp. I'm using it to carve it out to look more sharp. Then after that, I'm using another brush, blending brush, to blend everything brushing it out and blending it out i'm doing the same to the other brow i use foundation to cover the tail of the top of my brow because i want to achieve a natural look so i just use the foundation to make it look sharper I'm applying my foundation i put very little because my plan is to create a very natural look that you nobody might even know you even put a lot of makeup so i put little foundation and i'm blending everything out very well i'll put down the description of the product i use under the video so you can go check it out i can't be me I, I don't have time to mention everything here so i'm going to put down the description there so what i'm doing right here is i'm concealing the i'm highlighting the parts that needs to be highlighted underneath my eye my forehead the bridge of my nose the axle of my mouth then when i'm done i'm going to blend everything out Done with the blending, I'm concealing my cheek and bridge of my nose to make the nose look more, more pointed and bring out the cheek more. Put it, put it very little so that my face doesn't look so dark. I'm blending every, blending it out as well. So I blend it out as quickly as I can. And once I'm done blending out, I'm going to, I'm setting the areas that i highlighted I try to set it fast so that it doesn't dry before you start setting it so that your face doesn't look cakey so once i'm done with this i'm going to leave it to bake for a while while i conceal the part of my cheek and the bridge of my nose So once I'm done, I'm dusting everything out. I'm dusting, I'm dusting it out. I'm done baking. Then I'm blending everything together with my MAC Studio Fix powder. I'm using it to blend everything out to make it uniform. This is blush that I'm applying. And then I'm putting shimmer on my cheek so that it will pop out the cheek bridge of my nose and the tip of my mouth too i use my finger to do it because it gives me a better result i'm using mascara on my lashes before applying the false lashes concealing the down lashes Sorry, putting mascara on the lashes below. Then I'm carving out my lips. That M shape, that's what I want to achieve. So I'm using a brown lip pencil. Then I'm using Zaron 
lip gloss. I just want to look natural. I don't want to look too shouty. You can carry this makeup without the lashes. I didn't even put um eyeshadow because I just want to look at least close to natural and this is the final look so guys if you love the look and if you have any question leave the comment down below please don't forget to subscribe hope to see you next time bye